We're going to start tonight with Wisconsin's heroin problem. Hundreds of people die every year around Milwaukee from heroin, and that's despite a drug emergency responders are using to counteract overdoses. Casey Geraldo is here right now to explain how Narcan works but why it's not, Casey, the, the best solution in every case. That's right, Steve. I've talked with departments across the area that use Narcan. Here's how it works. Your brain has receptors, and that's where the heroin goes. Narcan blocks the receptors. I'm told it's a good way to keep someone breathing if they've overdosed, but it's not perfect, and it can't be treated as a safety net. Narcan has become sort of sexy. It's the potentially life-saving drug available over the counter. It also reverses the effect of the high and the overdose. But Greenfield Fire Chief John Cohn says it's a drug with a message. It really reflects that there's a problem in our society. His department's administered dozens of doses in the last couple of years, like many in southeast Wisconsin. Here's a look at the hundreds of doses given in our area. In 2014, Kenosha Fire Department administered 146 doses, up to 186 in 2015. Racine Fire Department gave out 50 doses in 2014, which jumped to 86 in 2015. Milwaukee Fire Department administered 678 doses of Narcan in 2014. It dropped to 603 in 2015. In Greenfield, their numbers have actually gone down, but not because overdoses have. The protocol changed that we only give Narcan to people that are suspected of an overdose. Cohn says that's in part because Narcan is not a cheap drug to stock. Milwaukee reported in 2015 a dose was $11.49 until October. They say their cost went up to $31.03 after that. But Kenosha paid $41 a dose, and Waukesha paid $45. So that's one of the places your tax dollars go. There is a downstream effect um, to it. Money has to come from somewhere, and municipal budgets are tight. But Cohn says Narcan should not be the go-to option for people struggling with addiction. I'd like to see recognition, um, treatment, and recovery become, you know, the sexy. So even though departments have Narcan and they do use it, it can't prevent every death. In 2014, Milwaukee County had 220 deaths from opiates. That's what heroin is. And in 2015, not even including December, they had 223. Racine County had 19 in 2014. And in 2015, 15 people died from heroin. In Kenosha County, 19 people died from heroin in 2014, and 21 died in 2015. So clearly still a big issue across the area. Those are startling.